developer. So something about those gloves is giving him uh, trouble. And look at this. He takes his hands off the wheel. He's certainly uh, not uh, lacking here in terms of skills. Of course, this is uh, lane splitting that is allowed here. And, and as you may recall, we passed a law uh, just recently here that prohibits how fast this guy can actually lane split. Wow, look at this. He goes over to the 170 now. And he, I got it, Dan, thanks. Uh, he's, uh, now he's making the transition north, and I guarantee those uh, motor units uh, are now stuck there trying to get caught up. Look, here's the motor unit on the right side of the picture there just trying to catch up, but he's some distance away. Now here we go. Here's where the traffic gets messy here. We're passing Roscoe, and you can see there he's uh, going gonna, gonna to start running out of options here because that uh, HOV lane that you see that he's in right now is going to abruptly stop there because the bridge that's going to carry that carpool traffic is actually under construction. It's not finished yet. Here. So five. Oh, look at this. He is into the construction area. I don't think he's going to be able to get out of there. This is going to be interesting. And I don't know if the officers, yeah, it looks like the officers followed him down. <laughs> he's going to eventually run out of uh, of dirt, so to speak here. Let me see. There is, there is a bridge there up ahead of him. And again, that bridge is under major construction. We look at it every day as we come in to land at Whiteman after our news flights here. But let's see what's up ahead of him here. And that's what's up ahead. See, there's the bridge that's under construction. Let's see if he can even get onto it. I mean, he's in a motor. Well, he, oh, look at this. He just jumps off the bike for no good reason here. He's laying on the ground. We're waiting for that officer that was right behind him. He looks so uh, despondent there by our uh, look here. And here comes uh, one of the officers here with guns drawn, two officers uh, from CHP. So uh, this guy really... Uh, kind of uh, avoided disaster there. If he'd kept up the speed and had continued on the trek that he was going, he may have actually driven off some of the parts of that bridge that were under construction. Look, they're kicking him now, trying to get him to prone out here. And this is going to be the moment of truth here. But it looks like they have him in custody. And this pursuit is now over. But, boy, not after some crazy moments here. And, again, uh, not really clear on what this guy's intentions were several times there. But look at this. They're essentially hog-tying him there. And he is now in the custody of the California Highway Patrol.